Hi there, this is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is an unboxing of the Witch's Moon for February 2023. The theme is Will of the Witch. Uh, this box is roughly $50. Um, you can find a link to it down below if you want to check it out. Normally you sign up for the next month, but they do sometimes have extras from the previous month if you want this exact box. Um, for Just to be transparent, uh, this was sent to me free of charge, but all of the opinions are my own. So let's dig into it. So here's what it looks like. Uh, for Just for the sake of the questions that I get, this does arrive um, in nondescript, like a, another box that's on top of it. So no one knows that you're getting a witchy box. For some people, you know, that may be a concern. Um, looks like we have an oracle card in here and the parchment with all of the information. There's my cat, Blue. Um, assimilate your in experience. Incorporate and invigorate is the oracle card for this month. There's usually an oracle reading that comes along with every box. And let's take a look at the artwork first. So it looks like we have a sigil. And it has a little scarab on it, which I have a thing for scarab beetles and Spirit of Prosperity. I really like their artwork. They're beautiful if you have a Book of Shadows or uh, you have a grimoire. They are also beautiful to kind of frame and hang up if you have like a witchy space that's just dedicated to you. So I'm curious about this. So the first item we have is a ritual tea. It's Apricot Alley. They usually do herbal teas here, and there's like a muslin tea bag that this goes in. Um, I will say that the Witch's Moon is very eco-friendly. You notice it's cardboard packaging. Um, they try not to make a lot of waste, and I do appreciate that. Uh, this is a good thing to do in your witchcraft. Um, you can add some you know, kitchen witchery into your practice if you work with herbals and things in teas or coffees. So that's exciting. So the first thing I see here are calendula petals. I love working with calendula. It's beautiful, particularly um, in the summertime. It's just, it has a sunny vibe to me. Um, I also use it around um, August 1st for Lunasa. And let's see what it says about calendula. So calendula is associated with the sun, a uh, fire energy. It's like warmth, making things happen. I just think it's beautiful in an oil. I love the way it looks in spellcraft. I would totally put this on a candle. So that's very exciting. And this is like a good amount of it. Ooh, and I see one of their sprays. So I love their ritual oils. They're always, um, they have crystals in them. They come like with herbs and with essential oils. I prefer their sprays. I think they excel at doing sprays. So let's take a look at this one. So here we have a road opener ritual spray, which I'm super excited about. Road openers are one of my favorite magical workings. They come from the hoodoo tradition. Basically, this is about attraction. This is about um, opening roads to success. Usually, It's usually like prosperity, success that you're opening roads to, inviting wealth to come your way, career opportunities to come your way. I expect this box to sell out just simply because it's so popular. And it smells amazing. It's orange, peppermint, lavender, and lemongrass. It smells like a spa to me. So very beautiful. I will probably be purchasing another one of these from their Witch's Moon Market, simply because road openers are one of my most important spells, basically. I do them a lot. Next, we have a little box to open up. Um, okay, let's see what's inside it. So this is a career success spell coin pendant. I don't tend to use their um, their pendants as jewelry. I use them on my altars. So this would be the perfect setup if you wanted a success altar or a money altar in your house. 
I would definitely add that pendant to it, especially if you're trying to get a new job or you're trying to um, move up like the corporate ladder at their current job that you do have. So that's kind of cute. And we have Spirit Swelling Ritual Salt. So these are perfect for taking a bath. Um, I do a lot of magical baths or magical showers in my case. Um, to kind of do a cleansing, I do them on the full moon, sometimes on the new moon. This has lemon balm and blue cornflower herb, bergamot and white tea and lemon. So this is like a new experiences, a uh, cleansing. It also says there's radiance magical oil in it gets rid of stagnation. I think that ritual bathing is important just as a spiritual practice, just to get rid of negative energy. Um, I happen to do like spiritual baths with like the full moon and the new moon, usually the full moon. So that is beautiful. If you don't have like um, a bathtub, you can get a little sachet, fill it up with this. And then as you're bathing, kind of, you know, run that through the water and you still get the same effect. I'm thinking that's probably the candle. You always get a candle in the witch's moon box. Okay, it's called an intention casting candle. So that is an enormous candle. Um, the intention for it is intention casting. It's success oriented. I think um, this would be the perfect kit for you if you're trying to start a small business, if you're trying to get more money in your life and like with inflation right now, who isn't? If you're trying to attract a side gig, if you want just more possibilities and things coming towards you success wise, I'm going to cover this in gold glitter. I'm going to spray it with that road opener. I'm going to put some calendula petals around it. Um, this is the perfect success um, sort of ritual kit. I think for me, I will be using it in the new moon in Taurus, just because Taurus is associated with money and success. All right. So we have a gorgeous golden altar cloth as well. Again, everything here is about success. Um, bringing like resources into you, tangible physical resources. So this would be perfect for a prosperity altar, a new moon ritual, um, and something like Taurus or Capricorn, which is success oriented. Um, I think you could probably do this in Virgo as well, just because earth signs tend to be more about money. We have some Copal incense which always smells amazing. I think dragon, um, dragon's blood is my favorite. Copal is a close second, particularly around uh, the fall of the year. I burn a lot of Copal. Um, and then there's one more big item here. Whatever that is, is heavy, like heavy AF. So this is a candle holder. It's white or honey onyx. So this is beautiful. It has a golden aura to it. Um, if you think about the sacral chakra, it's all about success. Uh, it has that golden color. This is just a gorgeous set, especially if you're looking to do prosperity magic. I'm sorry, my kitten is very curious. Um, I think this is a fantastic set. Not a lot of, or not all witches tend to do prosperity magic, but I love it. It's definitely part of my like my process. It's something that I do regularly. I find that when I do that, I tend to have more resources that come in for me. So this is kind of an amazing set. I'm really, really happy about it. I think my favorite thing is that road opener spray. Um, road opener magic is, I don't know, like a skeleton key as far as I'm concerned. It just brings things towards you. It gets obstacles out of your way. It opens everything up. It makes things much easier. So I'm very excited to work with that. And I plan on doing this, this whole 
set up here basically and it is like a ritual kit in a box i will be doing this on the new moon in taurus all right thank you so much and blessed be